first day of night shift complete. Um, this is night one of four in a row for me, so Friday through Monday. Um, pretty good shift. Saw a lot of patients tonight. Um, got out a bit early, supposed to get off at 4 a.m. and it is 3.30. Um, so yeah, it is night shift, 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. Typically when I work these night shifts, I end up like, my shadow kind of scared me. Typically when I work these uh, night shifts, I end up waking up like by 11 a.m. So it's not even like I'm sleeping all through the afternoon, which is nice. Good morning, guys. It is a gloomy day, but it still feels good. It's like 70 degrees out here. Um, got a solid seven hours of sleep last night. I want to sleep around um, four, woke up around 11. It's now 11.30 and I'm headed to the gym. Um, I find that working out on the days when I do night shift is actually better for me. For example, like day shift, I usually work 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 12 hour shift. And so by the time I get off, I'm just pretty tired and I'm not heading to the gym. If I do work out, it'll be the nine to seven shift and just like a quick home workout. But the days that I do night shift, you know, if I'm off at four, if I get up in the morning, head straight to the gym and then I start, you know, the rest of my days. So I find that working out when I'm on night shift is much better for me actually. So today I plan to do a full body workout. I have my bag with my um, ankle weights with me. The weather was so great the other day, so nice and sunny out here. It's Florida for you. back home I feel great I only um, ended up doing lower body but that was enough I couldn't do a full body workout spent about 45 um, minutes in the gym this morning came back took a shower now I'm about to make um, a protein smoothie all right so this is all I need um, I usually just freeze my spinach using in the smoothies some almond milk Greek yogurt um, mango chunks and then cut up some bananas and freeze them and then I usually put some peanut butter in as well and protein powder this is the protein powder that I use. It's a um, plant-based one, got it from Target, and I've been using it for a few years now. It's pretty good. Doesn't have like that strong protein taste to it, which is nice. All right, this is mine. I added um, protein powder to it. This is Stanley's, I did not. I actually made his a little bit too thick. All right, I took like an hour nap. Still looking sleepy. Um, it's almost time to go in for another shift. I'm trying to upload what y'all should have seen already last week's video. And I'm just having um, some jalap and chicken wings before I head in. All right, so I'll see you guys after my shift. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, it's the next day. I feel like the fatigue of night shift is starting to hit me. It's like 3.30, I'm just waking up. Um, I woke up earlier than went back to sleep, but uh, last night I ended up getting off a little bit later than four o'clock. Um, I had one pa one final patient that I had to dispo. Um, we we're waiting on a D-dimer to come back. We we're concerned that she may have a pulmonary embolism, so we did order a D-dimer. And the lab was just taking forever to resolve, so I finally called the lab. They told me that the blood was clotted, so the blood had to be redrawn. So I was sitting there waiting forever for nothing, and so I finally just signed the patient out um, to one of my co-residents, and then I went home. And then woke up this morning around 11:30, ate breakfast. It was just super sleepy and tired, so I went back to sleep. I'm now waking back up at 3:30. About to have some lunch, but yeah, um, this is I just finished night two of four and I'm kind of feeling a little tired, more tired now. Um, so I have tonight to go back in, tomorrow night, and then I'll be done with nights for this month. I'm tired, y'all. Sometimes I think about becoming a full time YouTuber. <laughs> Obviously, that's not gonna happen. Maybe one day, who knows. 
sometimes I wish I could skip a residency. That's not gonna happen either though. But two more years. I can't believe it. It's 2021. Uh, we don't residency in 2023. If y'all didn't know, emergency medicine is a three-year program. Some programs, some programs are four years. I didn't apply to any four-year programs because I just feel like, you know, what's the point? If it could be done in three years, I'm gonna do it in three years. Um, so <laughs> two more years to go. I can't believe like I'm pretty much almost done with my first year of residency already. Wow. All right guys, I'm alive. I'm done with night shift. It's a couple days later. Um, it's now Tuesday. I'm ready to head out with Stanley. Um, Valentine's Day was on Sunday, but of course I was working Sunday night, Monday night. Now I'm off for the next couple of days, so we're gonna go out and celebrate. All right, before we're going out to eat, we're making a quick stop at the mall. I'm going on a ski trip next week and we'll see if I can find a few things. And he's going on a trip. Um, Dominican Republic <laughs> next month so he's trying to find some things as well got done with the massage at Massage Envy. I actually got a membership sometime last year and it was so worth it. Now I get mo uh, monthly massages which are just so relaxing. Yeah, but I had a lot of tension like in my lower legs, my hamstrings, and my quads because of the um, workout the other day. So definitely focused on that area today. So feeling really good this morning. Now I'm about to head home. All right, so I have an exam next week, um, my in-service exam. So pretty much um, when you're done with residency, whatever specialty you're in, you have to become board certified in that specialty and that requires taking um, your board specialty exam. And so each year during residency, you take an in-service exam, which is pretty much like an exam to gauge how well you'll do on your actual board exam when you're done with the residency. And so that exam is next week. And so I've been studying for that the past couple of weeks, just doing practice questions here and there. But over the next week, I really want to knock out some questions because I'm off today. But then after this, I work five straight. I'm off one day and then it's the exam next Wednesday. So definitely want to utilize this off day today to um, knock some questions out. Yeah, the exams are never ending in medicine. First is the MCAT to get into medical school. Then it's step one, then it's step two, then it's step three, then it's your board specialty exams, and then you recertify maybe every 10 years or so. So never ending with exams. But after the exam next week, the following day, um, I am headed to Denver for a ski trip. So looking forward to that. That's why I'm working five straight. I usually don't work that many in a row, but I did request to have a few days off so I can take that trip. So looking forward to that. All right guys, it is Thursday. Um, just got to the freestanding ED. About to start shift one of five in a row. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.